We're at Griswold again uh, in the clean room, uh, getting ready to show how to uh, work on the uh, 316 stainless steel medium power frame, uh, the rotating assembly. Uh, when it's going to take it from here. Okay, we have our bearing housing, which we've uh, pre painted since it is a rotating assembly. We don't want to paint it bearings on there. So we got our lab seal. So you want to put just a little bit of lube on the O-ring of the lab seal. So it slides in easy and doesn't tear up the O-ring. Now there's a uh, word top up here. It's indicating that uh, that is the top of the, uh, the bearing housing. And we have a small relief hole in the lab seal itself. That's going to go directly facing away from the top. So it's going to fit just like that there. And we have our press here. Bring it down and uh, press the seal in. Just like that. That's where we're at in this. Okay, then we uh, take it over here to our, our fixture here, and I'll flip it upside down, lay it on the upside down, and the reason we use this particular type of um, thing is uh, you don't want to try to push that uh, shaft through this without it having some kind of a support. So we have a small enough hole that this is where it's going to rest. First thing I like to do is I put my O-ring on because uh, I tend to forget that if you don't put that on right away. You don't have to loop that, they can do that in the field. Keep our uh, all our nuts and bolts ready. The next thing we do is get our shaft. This shaft is a uh, uh, 24,001 O2 uh, 31A rotating assembly. It's a, a solid shaft. This does okay. Next thing I do is I want to lube the inside of this bearing housing. I don't need to use too much. It should slide down easily. And you want to lube that little O ring inside. Okay, we have a little key that we've ground down around. Fits right in the shaft here. That way you don't cut up that O-ring as you slide down that uh, slide it through that bearing housing. It's a little tool we made, we just ground down a key. We pick it up. Careful not to drop that thing in there. move it just like that. Most of the time it'll push down, but if it don't, if it's cold and it doesn't do it, you can get a little persuader. Something soft and not to mess up threads. And you probably heard it uh, bottom out. You want to make sure you get it below this little keyway in here where you're going to put that snap ring in. Now the snap ring is a tight fit so you got to kind of push it past that first bearing. Alright, this snap ring, they have a, um, a, a little oil thing that goes uh, through there. You don't want to cover that that little uh, passageway with the snap ring. You want to keep it right at the opening of the snap ring. that snap ring, making sure that it's with the 
snap ring installed, pretty much a done deal. Make sure that you keep that that opening open. Then lay it on its side. And we have our adjustment bolts, nuts and bolts. These here will be installed in, in the bearing housing. Okay, next thing we do is we install a, a key. We lay it right in there in the keyway piece of tape. We'll hold it on. 